It is going to be the most epic shootout ever. MacBook Pro 16 with Radeon 5600 Pro M, whatever the hell it is. And XPS 17 with RTX 2060 Max Q. It's going to be on. And I've got to tell you, this thing that's going in is a Mac. Wow, it's an amazing GPU. I'll tell you why in a sec. But XPS 17 update. Here in Australia, we do not have a GTX 2060 option. I'm not ordering the 1650 Ti, so maybe I'll be late. I don't know. I would have loved to order it like a few days ago, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not ordering the 1650 Ti. There's no way known. And this is going to be an epic shootout between the XPS 17 and the new MacBook Pro. So this is going to be like the best shootout ever. This MacBook Pro now comes with a Radeon Pro 5600. So it's a Radeon Pro. It's not the same as the one that goes into the Dell G5. Now, the one that goes into the Dell G5 has, from memory, what is it? 36 compute units. 36 compute units, and it has 6 gigabytes of GDDDR6. Okay, so what do we got? 288 gigabytes of memory. That's the memory bandwidth. Now, let me show you something here. Now, RX 5600, only 36, right? And GDDDR6, it's not HBM. But if you have a look here, 5700. Only 36 compute units, right? And still GDDDR6. But have a look here. It's more like a RX 5700 because this has 40 compute units and it only has GDDDR6 as well. The one that's going in the Mac has 40 compute units, HBM memory. Yeah, it doesn't have the clock speed of this, of course. You know, it's a 50 watt package, but it's more like a RX 5700 XT, not even a normal 5700, than it is a 5600. So I reckon in some circumstances, it's going to be faster than the RTX 2060. And I think it's going to be faster than the 1660 Ti up to 2060, maybe faster in some circumstances. The 2060 Max Q, of course, I'm talking about. And if you want to know what HBM memory is, there it is right there. The memory is right next to the GPU, okay? So it's, it's not really like cache, but it is so low latency and such a wide bit memory interface that the bandwidth and latency is just next level compared to GDDDR6. Now you can see here 5600 versus 5500. What this does mean is a new motherboard design. So as you can see up right here, the memory is right next to the GPU. That means the memory does not have to be on the motherboard anymore. And if you remember the Vega 20 MacBook Pro 15, they actually, you know, revised the motherboard. They actually done a hack job on the cooling too. They just like, I swear to God, it looks like they just welded another piece on and just grinded it. It was like really atrocious. So hopefully they do a bit of work on the cooling. Will it be any hotter? Well, 50 watts is 50 watts, right? So in that regard, no, it's not going to be hotter. But the thing is, it may get hotter quicker. That's the thing, right? It may get hotter with a lower wattage in it. So the fans might kick on earlier. Or maybe because of the clock speeds are down, it might be cooler. Who really knows? I expect with, you know, 40 compute units, it's going to be hotter. And that's a massive difference, 24 to 40. Wow. That is amazing. And 394 gigabytes per second versus 192 gigabytes per second you know it's virtually double the memory bandwidth and you know much more stream processes and and you have a look at the 5.3 tera floppies compared to four terry floppies yeah it's fair to say my old floppy has taken a workout in the last few weeks and yeah it's been constantly solid state i don't think i can handle it anymore i think the 2060 will still be more powerful but it's going to be a close run thing there you go, 394 gigabytes per second compared to 280, was it? Yeah, 280, 190-bit, 192-bit <laughs> memory interface. This GPU that's going into this MacBook Pro is going to be an absolute monster and an efficient monster as well because it's going to be 50 watts because it has to be. It's fitting in the 96-watt package. 2,560 stream processors. What do you get in the um, 5,600? 2,304 but the main thing here is the compute units, all right? So the 5600M that goes into the Dell G5 has 36 compute units, but it uses more power, 90 to 100 watts. So there's a difference there, but I'm willing to bet with the extra four compute units you get on this Radeon Pro 5600M on the MacBook Pro and the extra stream processors, 
I reckon it's going to be as fast, especially with HBM memory. It's got HBM2 memory. Yes, not GDDDR6. It's going to be much more expensive. It looks like an efficient monster. And the thing is, with Apple, they get the best. They get the cream of the crop. It was the same with the 5500M. They get the more power efficient ones that they're going to put in the MacBook Pros. Had extra compute units, but this one's got a lot. This has got four extra compute units, so that's quite a lot. And especially with the HBM2 memory, it's up to 75% faster. Well, that's what Apple have said. So I can't wait. XPS 17 versus MacBook Pro 16, RTX 2060 Max Q versus 5600M Radeon Pro, by the way. And actually, this would be a workstation beast because you can imagine boot camp. It's just going to be amazing. So let's have a quick look at what we're seeing here. So we already have the 5500M here, all right? So 2.5 times faster, 3.5 times faster. Now this is compared to a 560X, but just let's have a look how it scales. With Final Cut, not so much of a boost there. And it will be interesting to see is can the Mac actually take back the crown as the content creation king? Because the Mac actually had the fastest benchmarks at all the laptops until the 10th generation come out and Adobe updated their software, but now it might take back the crown. So it might still be the fastest editing machine in Premiere. It's going to be very interesting compared to the XPS 17. But what we can see here is DaVinci Resolve. Look at that. That's a big boost there. 3.5 times. DaVinci is going to be fast. You know they're going to take advantage of the GPU in DaVinci. So make sure you do subscribe because I'm going to get this in for sure. Unity Editor. Yeah, quite a lot faster there. You can see it's a... No, it's not a little bit faster. It's quite significantly faster. 2.6 times, you know. Now, if you have the current 5,500 or 5,300, should you upgrade? No, I wouldn't upgrade. I wouldn't upgrade until you get, you know, new CPUs, a new display, something like that. It's not worth upgrading just from a 5,500, even from a 5,300. It's just a lot of wasted money if you're upgrading from a 16 to another 16, which is just a GPU option. I really think you need more, but it's your money. If you want to do it, just do it. And it's going to be expensive. Let's have a look here. So 2,799 and what's that GPU option? That GPU option is, holy crap, that looks like Australian prices. What the hell just happened? Oh, 64 gig. Okay. Let's just go to a normal configuration. Let's just go 16 gigs and let's see. All right, so it's a $700 option. Wow, that's how much HBM costs. HBM is expensive and they're only doing it for Apple because <laughs> Apple don't skimp on these things. They'll give you the best components. And if you ever want to know why Macs cost so much, you know, like custom controllers, custom displays, you know, custom GPUs, custom CPUs. Not a custom CPU in this, but in the 13-inch they do. That You know, they don't leave any expense spared and when you pay the money you know they haven't skimped on a product so i really cannot wait to get this one in i've, I've already ordered one yes i swallowed it i swallowed it um i ordered one and we'll have to see i'm you know i'm not gonna i'll return it if it doesn't you know blow me away and it's not you know fast enough because i really want to wait until they have the mini led hdr and all that sort of stuff before i really give a toss and by the way i just plug in the new gpu and it hits both gpus at once so this won't beat you know, me plugging in an eGPU and having two GPUs running at once. I'm really going to have to test it out. If it's good, if it's worth it, I'll keep it. If not, I'm definitely going to probably return it. But the best thing is I just want to see how it compares to the XPS 17 because now we have two GPUs and already we know that the 5600 is close to a 2060. If you want to know, go to Jared's Tech and own it this own. But that GPU... It's not as good as this one. It doesn't have HBM memory and it has less streams and less CUs, but they use more power. But these would be more power efficient. It's a bit like sort of like the 4900HS. You know, it's 10 watts less, but it's like nearly the same performance as a 4800. That's how this is going to be. So the memory will make up for, you know, the lack of power in terms of wattage and the extra CUs will make up for that as well. So it's going to be very interesting to see can't wait to get this in um you know it's a special order that's the only thing that sucks um i wish i could pick it up tomorrow 
And yeah, with the Dell XPS 17, come on, what are you doing? I'm not ordering a 1650 Ti Dell. I'm sorry, I'm not doing it, but I cannot wait to compare these two laptops. It's just going to be the most epic showdown ever. So anyway, I'll catch you in the next one, guys. It's, it's 3.22 in the morning. I'm going to bed.